When you hear the word alien, what do you picture in your head? Are they short or tall, green or gray? And what key features do they have? If people who claim to have actually met aliens are to be believed, then there are certainly good and bad kinds out there, but also many different types. So you need to know how to distinguish between them. This is Unveiled, and today we're taking a closer look at the different types of alien you should know about. Do you need the big questions answered? Are you constantly curious? Then why not subscribe to Unveiled for more clips like this one and ring the bell for more thought-provoking content. Scientifically speaking, no one truly knows what aliens are going to look like. And any version of life that develops on other planets could well be drastically different from our own. With just a sample of one to build from, life on Earth, it's difficult to calculate or even predict what the rest of space could have in store besides presumably infinite variety. However, there are those on Earth who claim to have already seen aliens, sometimes via an alien abduction. Survivors of these encounters have differing stories, but the most common themes include scientific experiments, invasive probing, and the taking of samples, sometimes via quite intimate means. While the overall narratives often overlap, however, what an alien physically looks like can vary. There apparently are different types to contend with, and with some surprises. For example, although the image of little green men has long been popular in society and science fiction, genuinely reported abduction cases rarely include such a creature. Other alien kinds are much more common in sightings. The greys are by far the most popular depiction among those claiming to have met with aliens in real life. They're described as having a generally humanoid composition and sharing certain characteristics with us, although they're often shorter, have larger heads, bigger, darker eyes, and a distinctly gray skin tone. This particular alien won't be unfamiliar to you. The greys are still today sci-fi favorites and something of a worldwide phenomenon. Going from most abduction accounts, they don't usually speak as such, but instead communicate telepathically from their mind to yours. The greys aren't usually overly hostile, but they're not averse to causing an abductee pain either, so long as they get the information they want. Similarly, the greys are said to be extremely intelligent but lacking emotion. So even if they're not ill-meaning, they are ruthless. As such, abductees claim that the greys will probe and take samples, seemingly in order to create hybrids. And their rise to become perhaps the archetype for what an alien should look like, at least during the 20th century, can be traced back to one of the most infamous abduction stories in history, that of Betty and Barney Hill in 1961. While it was the Greys, too, who were supposedly at the center of the Roswell crash in 1947. According to a map remembered by Betty Hill, a map she claims to have seen as a projection inside an unknown alien ship, her Greys, at least, came from the far-off binary star system of Zeta Reticuli. If true, they've traveled many, many light years to become humankind's Alien 101. Another version of ETs, though, is much more animalistic to our eyes. Rather than smooth all over like the greys, they can be scaly, armored, and less humanoid. They're variously known as the Archons, Saurians, or Draconians. And while descriptions differ in science fiction and in claimed real-world encounters, these beings are generally said to be a few feet taller than us. Again, the stories of them do differ, but they're usually said to be ancient and far longer lived than we are. It's said that they walked the surface of Earth thousands, perhaps millions of years before humanity did, but were in fact forced underground by the arrival of another type of alien in our planet's distant past called the Anunnaki. In some retellings, the Anunnaki are closer to God than alien and are alleged to have hailed from the lost planet Nibiru. But whatever they were, they allegedly triggered these previous aliens to retreat and hide in a large, complex, and until now undiscovered cave system far below the Earth's crust. Of course, until now there is no real-world evidence of any such thing. And indeed, it's a general idea that has gone on to fuel many a modern and dangerous conspiracy theory. However, some have also drawn comparison between these alternate aliens and the revered gods of ancient times. The Egyptians, for example, worshipped a god called Sobek that possessed a humanoid figure but the head of an alligator while similar animal-human entities appear across other belief systems, too. Rumors of such creatures in the here and now could also relate to various claimed sightings of straight-up monsters all over the world map. In one case, there's the legend of the Lizard Man of Scape or Swamp in South Carolina, who's said to target unsuspecting passers-by, and in particular, stranded cars and their drivers. 
But finally, and while the invading greys and saurians perhaps should be easy to spot in the open, so-called Nordic aliens probably wouldn't be. In fact, a defining characteristic of them is that they should seamlessly blend with humankind, because they're an extremely close physical match for us. In some cases, they're described as resembling the Norse gods, like Thor, who himself might be considered a Nordic alien were he to ever appear on our planet. Further Norse variations include the Pleiarans, which are said to have originated in a bright and bursting star cluster known as the Pleiades. While other alien types, humanoid or not, are generally painted as having a clearly frightening or unique appearance, Nordics are much subtler, which in itself perhaps makes them a little scarier, although they're widely said to be benevolent and good rather than evil. Like the Greys, Nordic aliens are said to heavily rely on psychic energy. They communicate telepathically and can also live for thousands of years or more. Again, then, they're presented as beings of infinite wisdom compared to humans. They're also at times linked with or crossed over with so-called Venusian aliens, said to come from Venus with startling beauty. It's as though, when they appear in alien encounter stories, Nordic and Venusian aliens are a reflection of humankind, usually at its best. And some versions of alien lore suggest that the Nordics do cross paths with the Greys. Here, the Greys are emotionless but efficient, while Nordic aliens are emotionally astute and much more cognitively complex. Which is another reason why this type of alien, if it is out there, would be difficult to spot. Nordics wouldn't struggle with anything about the human way of life. In fact, they'd probably be better at it than even we are. Of course, such is the rich diversity of reported alien history, this still isn't all there is. Other, rarer, and lesser-known alien varieties allegedly include a race known as the Arcturians. These are perhaps the ET type that is closest to the Little Green Men stereotype, said to stand around five feet tall with big ancient eyes and green skin. Another more obscure reported variety is the Avians, a bird-like species, often with a bluish color, that features in some much-contested retellings of how the pyramids were built. Thankfully, both the Arcturians and the Avians are generally said to be kind and to come in peace, and often, allegedly, to help us lowly humans reach some kind of spiritual awakening. But what's your verdict? We know that alien abduction stories are becoming commonplace in the modern day. The skepticism that surrounds them perhaps isn't likely to disappear until an alien presence on Earth is officially recognized the world over. But until then, we have mounting descriptions to add color texture, mood, and motivation to our ever-growing and shared mental image of what these things might be. Because those are the different types of aliens that you should know about. What do you think? Is there anything we missed? Let us know in the comments, check out these other clips from Unveiled, and make sure you subscribe and ring the bell for our latest content.